Hola, I'm Darkies and welcome to my studio. On this channel I do tutorials and tips, time lapses and business how-tos. If you'd like to know the full backstory for this painting, you can check out this painting's time lapse on the link below. Here's my reference picture and I created three different outlines for you to download and it ranges from basic, detailed and complex. That way you can decide how far you want to take your painting. The links for the template are on the description, just follow the links. To create this butterfly painting, I'm using Artesa acrylics as well as Lucas Gold. The main colors I used from this set were the violet and the lemon yellow. And I did so to keep on experimenting with complementary colors. I'll leave on the description the link to the other painting. I start off with a rough sketch and then I wet my paper to start putting some Prussia blue, violet and Mars black as my first layer. Here I'm adding Prussia blue and mixing it with violet. Then I add Mars black and continue to cover the paper. I want to make sure that at the end the background is very dark and the butterfly is very bright. I mentioned before that I'll be using the complementary colors of yellow and purple and if you're a beginning artist, the reason behind it is because they make each other pop and stand out. Also, so I made this tutorial so that you could follow along but I didn't want this video to be so long so for those parts I did fast forward, but don't worry, I made sure not to miss any steps. Because the paper does move and warp, I use clips to keep it in place. Here I'm readjusting the clips because they didn't feel flushed and flat. I use violet to continue building up on my layers. The consistency that I'm using is very transparent because I want to build up my darks but you can really do whatever technique you want. You can apply colors directly or apply a layer that is thick instead of um, just doing thin layers like I'm doing here. Remember that this is your painting so you can do with it whatever you want. Here I'm adding Prussia blue and I'm going to add it wherever I think or feel that it needs to be darker. Now I'll be adding lemon yellow and this is going to be my base for my butterfly. As I lay down the color, I make sure to dab my brush in water, so don't forget to do that. This helps the brush glide on the paper better. In case you're wondering, this butterfly is called the Orange Barred Sulfur. And here's the scientific name, which I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. <laughs> Here I'm adding more lemon yellow to finish covering the bottom wings. Okay, so I'm gonna let you finish covering up your butterfly and I'm gonna meet you up ahead. Okay, so that was fast. So now I'm gonna use violet and cobalt blue and I'm gonna mix them together to make a rich 
purple so that I can finish off covering the background. Also, I just reached 100 subs, so thank you for your support and I'll be doing a giveaway video soon. As I'm adding more to my background, I'm making sure to keep on adjusting the size and shape of the butterfly. Here I'm just changing where the center of the body is. And now I mix black and violet to continue making my background darker. Now I get mid yellow, yellow ochre, raw sienna, orange, and raw umber. Now I use raw sienna and raw umber and I use it to begin reshaping the wings. And now I add a little bit of mid yellow to lighten it up. So here I'm mixing orange and dabbing it with a little bit of mid yellow to lighten it up or soften it up more. And as I'm painting, I continuously keep on looking at my reference picture and I continue reshaping the wing to make sure it matches it as closely as I can. So here I add more lemon yellow and mix it with orange and I go back to the wing and continue working on it adding more layers. Okay, so here I'm gonna be mixing white and orange and I'm pretty much gonna apply it all over the place where the wings are. In the meantime, I'll let you work on your butterfly and I'll see you up ahead.
So as I was painting, I realized that I wanted much warmer tones toward the top of the painting. So I added rose and I mixed it with violet to add much warmer tones of purple. Now I'm making more adjustments and I'm sure that by now you must be like why does she keep on doing adjustments when she can just use the outline that she gave us. But the reasoning, at least for me, um, it's because I feel that whenever I use a template, the painting comes out way more stiff than if I just freehand it. I feel that when I freehand, it has much more movement to it. Now this tutorial is meant for beginners and that's why I provided you the templates but I will encourage you that once you feel comfortable with painting a butterfly to just do your own instead of following an outline. Now I start working on the details laying down the lines. I'm using a watered down violet and I'm not being very particular as to where I'm putting down the lines. So my approach is more loose, it's kind of, uh, I think one goes here, one goes there, this one looks good here, let me put one over there. It's not very specific and it's not down to a T or down to a science. I'm just putting it where I feel that it looks the best. But at the same time, using the reference as a guide. Second coat to cover the wing. And here I'm adding more warm tones. Placing with rose for my background. And now I'm adding lemon yellow. Here I'm mixing titanium white and yellow and I'm just trying to do a tint to do highlights. And I'm doing the highlights next to the lines that I did previously. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward again and do all the highlights on all of the wings and I'll see you soon. Here I did a glaze of white, 
but I realized that I have put too much water, so I pat dry it. And here I'm adding a glaze of Prussia Blue to soften this area. Then I add a glaze of Violet to the opposite side. And now I'm tweaking my edges and smoothing the background. I'm gonna fast forward again so that you can work on your background and remember to make it yours. This is just a guide or an example. You can make it whatever you want and make the colors lighter or different. Just use your imagination and use the colors that you feel most compelled working with. Here I'm using ultramarine blue to go over some of the lines where the shadows look darker. And in case I forgot to mention, I'm mostly using the Filbert size 6 brush. So for this section, I'm not going to fast forward too much so that you can see the details and that you can follow along. Now, if you would like me to make these tutorials shorter or longer, let me know in the comments below. Also, I would like to know if you would like me to continue putting music or to take it out completely. I usually try to put the music very soft so that you can put your own music while you're following the tutorial. So yeah, just let me know. Now I'm going to mix lemon yellow and scarlet red to make a beautiful orange. And I'm going to use this mix for the orange spots on the wings. Here I'm adding more lemon yellow to make a softer transition between the yellow and the orange. And a little bit more lemon yellow. And mix with orange to continue blending. I'm using scarlet red to warm up my corners. Now I'm going to be using lemon yellow to cover all of my wings but I'm also making sure that I don't cover all of the highlights that I've made before.
Here I'm applying cold gray, which is my go-to color from this set. I'm applying it to all of the lines because I thought that the painting was feeling too flat and it needed a little bit of something. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I had mentioned about having about 80 ideas of videos that I wanted to do. Well, so far my list is up to 250 ideas and it seems that I have more ideas than time to be able to do my videos. So if you want to give any suggestions, feel free to comment below and if I see something that people are asking about a lot, then I'll go ahead and prioritize that. Some of the paintings I've thought about creating are paintings about mermaids, fairies, dragons, Japanese inspired art, um, more paintings about Florida, and I have a bunch of other ideas that I don't have the details on, but they're on my list. And here I'm correcting some of the lines that I went over and that's the beauty of acrylic painting that you can always go over it to cover it or you can always do a glaze and use that color beneath to give more depth to your painting. Now I mix white and lemon yellow and I'm going to use it to do more highlights on the wings. Now I'm just going to show you one of the wings and then I'll go ahead and fast forward the rest because it's pretty much the same procedure. So for the remaining of this painting, it's just going to be me uh, working on the details. But if you, so I'm not going to comment as much. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comment below and I'll be happy to answer.
Here I'm going over with a lemon yellow glaze covering up some areas. I'm using Lucas Gold to outline the wings. And for this part I go slow so I don't mess up too much. Here I'm outlining the orange with the same gold. And now I'm also outlining the body of the butterfly. And here I begin doing the borders of all the wings. Once I feel that the painting is finished, I go ahead and sign and date it. Sometimes after I finish a piece, I do go back and make very few changes, but I try my best not to. Because otherwise, I'll keep making changes forever. So here's the finished piece. And you can see the gold details reflecting on the light. So I lost my camera and the footage for my fish painting, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a different one. Thanks for watching! And if you like this video, don't forget to like, sub and share.
If you like to be notified every time I post a video, make sure to hit the bell. So were you able to guess what the next paintings are going to be about? If so, put your comments below. And don't forget that it's okay to start ugly.